Good morning. I hope you guys are doing great and have enjoyed your spring break. And I know you have to go back to school on Monday. I hope you're ready for that too. Uh, so, you know, we've been talking about Jesus like we always do in church, and we've been talking about the I am statements. Let me remind you that when Jesus says I am, he is telling you that he is God, and he is giving you some descriptions about who he really is, because we know that he is more than just his name, that there are qualities that go along with that. Well, this week we're going to talk about Jesus saying that he is the vine. Wow, Jesus is the vine, and you know what else Jesus says? He says, we are the branches. Now, back when he was talking about this with all the people who were listening, and it was written about in the book of John, he was referring to the vine and the branches really of like a grapevine. Do you guys eat grapes? Do you like the purple grapes or the green grapes better? Well, I think the purple ones are actually healthier for you. The darker the color, the more nutrients it has, which is just an interesting fact, nothing to do with our Bible story. But anyway, Jesus was really talking about grapevines. Now, I looked high and low for a grapevine so I could have an example to show you guys what I'm talking about, but I couldn't find one anywhere of one that was actually living and growing. So instead, I'm going to use a tomato plant as an example, but it means the same thing. Now this is a really nice looking tomato plant right next to me. And if you're a gardener, I don't know if you guys garden, you would know how much work it takes to get this plant to this point. First you have to have seeds and the right soil. And then as it grows, because it's a vine, you have to use special stakes to keep it standing up straight, just like this one has. And this looks pretty healthy. You have to water it and give it sunshine, all those things, right? And when we look at it, we can see lots of different things. So uh, we can see a stem right here, and this is really the vine, the main branch of this, of this plant. And we can also see little tiny flowers. Hopefully you guys can see the flowers I'm talking about. There's some right here, and I believe there's some over here, and I, I even see some right here. And what happens is, once they flower, they turn into a teeny, weeny piece of fruit, which turns into a tomato. And here we go right here. You can see some tomatoes right here that are growing. As they continue to grow, they turn into this, right? And these are fabulous, great tomatoes. I can't wait to eat them. This is the little stem that the flower was on first that probably already had a tomato on it. You can see it when you're looking at a tomato. Now it takes a lot to go into this, right? And, and these are really heavy too, which is why they have to be staked up while they grow vertically. But when they're on the ground, they just kind of roam. Uh, what other plants do that that are like vines besides grapes? Oh, I know, pumpkins. You guys see that with the pumpkins every year when we have our pumpkin patch. So here's Jesus telling us that we are the vine. He is the vine. That's the most important part to keep this, this plant growing and that we are the branches, so we come off of that vine. Now, I have some branches right here that broke off, and they don't look so good, do they? And actually, they look like they're dead, they're dying. I wonder if, um, if we can reattach them. Do you think we can reattach them to the vine to help them grow? No? You're right. We can't tape them back on or staple them back on. That's not gonna connect them. Once they're off, they're off. Well, if you're a gardener, you go through and you break off the dead pieces and so that the rest of the plant can grow. And you also will uh, break off some of the pieces if there's too much growth so that you can bear really, really good fruit and make more and multiply. So if these aren't connected, that means they're not growing. And if they're not growing, they're not making any type of fruit, which is what Jesus wants us to do. He wants us to bear, which means grow, really great fruit. We can't do it if we're not connected to the vine. The branch can't do that. So when Jesus is talking about that, he is using this as an example, like a way for us to see what he means and who he is. What he means is that if we are connected to him, we will continue to grow. But if we aren't connected to him, like this branch broke off the vine, 
we're, not, we're gonna wither away and we won't be who God wants us to be. Now, there are some false finds out there in the world too. And when I mean, say that, what I mean is different things that we could be connected to that wouldn't help us bear really good fruit. And it could be people that are in our lives that aren't so good for us that maybe we do things we shouldn't be doing with, right? And we're connected to them. It could be things like money or even video games. If those things keep us from doing God's work, then we're connected to the wrong vine. The way we know Jesus and grow in our relationship with Jesus is to be connected to him. The way we can connect to Jesus are various, so many ways. We can do it by reading our Bible. We can do it by praying. We can do it by being out in nature or serving other people. So many different things that we can do so that once we grow into the people that we're supposed to be, which is constantly changing because we're never perfect, we can have really good results, really good fruit, and really fulfill the lives that God wants us to live. Will you all pray with me? Dear God, we want to thank you so much for the gift of your son, Jesus. I want to ask you to help us to stay connected to him, like the branch is connected to the vine, so that we can continue to grow and bear the fruit that you want us to bear in this life. Please continue to keep us safe and healthy and happy, Lord, and help us to walk the walk you want us to walk. In your name we pray, amen. I will see you guys next time.